Mayo, we're seeing these floodwaters still really high in a lot of places, including right here in Liberty County near the East Fork of the San Jacinto River. Right here behind me, that's a section of FM 2090 just completely submerged in water, the floodwater. Uh, people here have been trapped all day. Emergency crews have been helping to do these evacuations throughout the day. Take a look. Just about an hour ago, we saw these two people and their dogs being brought to dry land in a boat for several hours today. Crews from the Texas A&M Task Force and Army National Guard were here helping folks in Plum Grove get out of their flooded houses. We're told more than a dozen rescues were happened today, but it was not an easy mission. Earlier, we saw one of these rescue boats having engine trouble and the crew inside couldn't paddle back because the current of this flooded river was too strong. Now, we also spoke to one resident here who went back to his flooded home to find some pets that got left behind. He told us that rescue crews couldn't get all the way there, so he took a small kayak himself. Went in and seen my dog was still alive on my daughter's bed. The cat was still alive. I just don't have a way to get to him again. So we just paddled all the way back out. So for right now, you feel like they're safe and they're good in the house? Yeah, we got another three or four foot before anything tragic happens, but I'll try to find a boat and get in there. And that man says he'll be here tomorrow with a bigger boat to rescue his animals. Back out here live, we know these floodwaters are expected to stay high throughout the weekend. And just to kind of show you how high they are, you can see a car over my shoulder over here that is almost completely submerged in water. County officials are urging people who live along the East Fork of the San Jack River to evacuate and heed those warnings if they can. Mia, Ron. All right, thank you so much, Stephen. Go and 